most of the Catholic prophecies for, for you. Today we're talking about the third section of the Prophecies of the Signs Before the End, taken from the Prophecy for Today by Edward Connor, uh, the book obtained from Amazon.com, Books of Man, uh, Barnes and Noble, and a number of other sources you may obtain a book from. Uh, we'll be covering the prophecies specifically about uh, the end, those until the reign of the Antichrist, as well as the sixth uh, title, which is uh, the Extraordinary Disturbances in Nature. First, we describe uh, the reign of the Antichrist, which states, You have already been given a number of discourses on the reign of the Antichrist from a variety of sources, including Scripture. There are extraordinary disturbances in nature. The sixth sign of the end of the world will be extraordinary disturbances in nature. These might be divided into two classes, those that will precede the world's end and those that will accompany it. In the first group, we might include the following texts. There will be pestilences and famines and earthquakes in various places. Take from Matthew chapter 24, verse 7. And there will be earthquakes in various places and famines. Mark chapter 13, verse 8. Finally, there will be great earthquakes in various places and pestilences and famines, and there will be terror and great signs from heaven. Luke 21, verse 11. In the second group, Behold, the day of the Lord shall come, a cruel day, full of indignation and of wrath and fury, to lay the land desolate and destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and their brightness shall not display their light. The sun shall be darkened in its rising, and the moon shall not shine with her light. That taken from Isaiah chapter 13, verses 9 through 10. Moreover, he states, The day of the Lord is near in the valley of destruction. The sun and the moon are darkened, and the stars have withdrawn their shining. And the Lord shall roar out of Sion and utter his voice from Jerusalem. And the heavens and the earth shall be moved, as taken from Joel. Chapter 3, verses 14 through 16. Moreover, it states, The sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give it her light, and the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken, as in Matthew 24, verse 29. The sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give her light, and the stars of heaven will be falling, and the powers that are in heaven will be shaken. Take from Mark 13, verses 24 through 25. And there will be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars and upon the earth distress of nations, bewildered by the roaring of the sea and waves, men fainting for fear and expectation of the things that are coming on the world, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Luke chapter 21, verses 25 to 26. Private Revelation adds a note about Ireland. Attributed to St. Patrick, who died in the year 493. The ocean shall be shall inundate by Ireland seven years before the end, so that that devil may not be ruled over that people. And then he goes on to St. Saint, Saint Kelly, who died in 597. Seven years before the last day, the sea shall submerge Ireland in one inundation. St. Sinanus says... The sea will overcome Ireland seven years before the Day of Judgment. De Brar Briac states, The sea shall overwhelm Ireland seven years before the Judgment. And finally, John O'Connell, who died in 1858, states, Lest the deceptions, snares, and dangers of Antichrist should fall upon Irish, he promised to send a deluge over Ireland seven years prior or previous to the burning of the spears. All these taken from Prophecy for Today, pages 93 through 95, authored by Edward Connor, imprimatur from A.J. Willinger, Dr. Divinity Bishop of Monterey, Fresno, um, and published by www.tambooks.com. The original uh, version is 1956.
it can be obtained from tanbooks.com, booksandmillion.com, barnesandnoble.com, or uh, any of a number of other sources. Thank you again for listening to the prophecies that are contained in the, the signs for the end of the world, part three. Thank you.